the street We get the funniest looks from everyone we meet Well, there is something slightly odd about the wonkies, but hello and welcome to The One Show with yeah. Alex Jones. And Matt Baker. Now, if you're wondering what that was all about, well, joining us tonight, the stars of a 60s fictional TV show who ended up selling 50 million records in the real world. Hey, hey, it's the monkeys! Oh. Hey, hey, <laughs> Super to see you, lads. Super. Thank you for coming on. And Peter, you've got some fantastic news, haven't you? For every I, 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 I do. Uh, let's see. May the... Okay, we, okay. Look, look at us. We're getting, actually going to be together and, you know, do the show thing and actually going to be performing and touring in your fair country on the 12th of uh, May. Thank you. We start oh, in Liverpool. We start in Liverpool. We start in Liverpool. On the we start in Liverpool. Well, we, we might, we might end there at the rate we're going. To. <laughs> Don't you worry, Pete. Honestly, we'll sort it all out by the end of the show. Now, it's great that you are back here in the UK, but uh, Mickey, what do you remember about the first time that you came here, which was, what, 1967? Because Britain went mad. Look at these pictures. That's from Hard Days Night. You can't fool me. Oh, my gosh. Look. look that was at the Royal Gardens Hotel, and I remember Princess Margaret sent us a formal note saying, could one please keep one's fans quiet because one cannot sleep? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm serious, I'm serious. What, what was the little the banner there? It says, if Davy oh. goes, we go. Where oh, were you, was, they called me up into the American Army and, wow. uh, because I, I was a green card holder. I'd actually been there for a number of years working in theatre, and so I was eligible for the draft. But uh, oh. I, I never went there. The Vietnam War ended, and so my status was changed. Right. It would have been some sight, you in the it army, would, all them screaming girls well, following you with that banner. Yeah, right. That would have been good, though, I'll tell you. <laughs> now, because you've come in, we've had the sofa cleaned. So Thank you. make yourselves at home. Thank but um, you. try not to uh, do What's too sorry? much monkeying oh, around. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. We're going to tell you that. Joke. <laughs> this is going to be lovely. Said that. I know. <laughs> no, banana no banana okay. jokes. No banana jokes. Okay, okay we'll yeah. stay clear. Don't, don't you worry. Don't you worry. Couldn't agree more. Now, lads, you were quite taken by the gradient of the velodrome there, oh, weren't you? Wasn't I, it? I actually... 40 degrees. Uh, yeah. Amazing. My father and I used to go to, in Manchester. And I'm trying to think of the guy who used to win most of the classic races they had there. I know our Gerald would know who it was, but I can't remember. Oh. I have to call him. Yeah, yeah, super. Now, that it's 45 years ago, isn't it, since you lads were, were all cast, put together. Some of you were in your teens, some in your 20s. Yeah, but you, you were actually child stars, weren't you, Mickey and, 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 and Davey? Yeah, I'd done a series called Circus Boy uh, uh, on NBC when I was like 10 years old. Uh -huh. I'd actually been in the business a few years before that. My father... There you are. There you are. Oh, look Mickey. at me there. <laughs> Braddock, you I was there. so young. <laughs> still wearing a hat. <laughs> I have some, actually I've been in business a long time, I have some prenatal work coming out on ultrasound. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got um, a picture of you too, Davey, here you are. Where am I? Isn't it right? Oh, oh, oh. Was that you playing the Artful Dodger one, in Oliver? Which one Oliver? are you? Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're the kid. That I'm, was I'm the other. I'm the other one. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was, I was uh, in Oliver at the time, uh, in, uh, in London here at the Albury Theatre. And then I went to Broadway and uh, I was hooked up with Columbia Pictures and then a few years later I met these guys and we... Uh, and it's been... <laughs> no, don't say that. I'll tell you what, let's have a look at some classic monkey business. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Four wild boys. Three. One of them from Great Britain. It's the monkey. Then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. To a Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Looks like great fun. Honestly, it really does. Looks like you had amazing fun. It, it was great fun. My hero! 
It, we, it was great fun. We had a great time. We toured all over the world. The show went to about 36 countries. Yeah. We made 56 episodes, you know, Grammy Awards, Emmy Awards, all that stuff. So, but I think because of the kind of people that we were, we just took it in our stride. And hopefully it's, uh, it's going to be as successful when we open in Liverpool on the 12th of May. So we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure it will be. See how I pushed that one in? That's lovely. <laughs> Where? Where Good lads. 12th of May in Liverpool. Where? We'll start, uh, <laughs> What? And then Al Albert Hall, we're going to play there too. Yeah, so. yeah. But at the time when you were kind of cast, there was a bit of criticism, wasn't there, in how you were actually put together? Well, people didn't get it. I mean, the, the first time that the television and, and record industry and sort of had put together, you know, an, well, cast the show. I mean, now with Glee, the, the closest thing to the monkeys now is Glee, yeah. Yeah. which is about a Glee club in a fictitious high school. And the monkeys was about a band in a beach house on, on, in Malibu. But like Glee can sing and dance and play, we could sing and dance. And, and like play. the actors but, on ER can actually cut and yeah. so. <laughs> I've actually, I've actually, George Clooney did my bypass. Right. <laughs> uh, but, but they used to call you the prefab four, didn't they? But you were the last laugh because you met the Beatles and they loved you. Well, yeah. they got it. They got yeah. the fact that it wasn't... The, the Monkees was about a band that wanted to be the Beatles. And the, it was more like the Marx Brothers. Are you going to do, you, okay, you do, your John, do your John Lennon? Go ahead. Uh, it's terrible John Lennon. Go I know, on. but it's, oh. it was John Lennon that first, you know, said something like, I like the Monkees, I like the Marx Brothers. The Monkees are more like the Marx Brothers. <laughs> that was bad. More right. like the Marx Brothers than the Beatles, you know. Yeah. But, and he, that, was when he, right. that was when he came Absolutely from Birmingham. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and is it right that you actually wrote a song after you've met... The Beatles. We can't well, they actually. We a party one night at the Speakeasy with. Uh, uh, th uh, they were there. Eric uh, Clapton was there. Eric Clapton and Keith Moon and and you know all the all the, the people. George and John talking. came in going Mickey Dolans, Mickey Dolans, 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 Mickey, Mickey. Which for Hare those of you, Krishna. the Hare Krishna chant, yeah, yeah. with Mickey. Um, so cool. we had a, they threw us a party, and the next day I wrote a song and cool. I was and watching what? till death do us part, and I heard uh, the father call the son a Randy Scouse git. <laughs> and I thought, that is so cool. <laughs> Man, that is yeah. really Not knowing what it meant I in, in no American. Clue, in American, we don't know what that means. And then they said they wanted to release it here as a single, but I had to change the title. And I said, why? I said, because it means a horny, liver puddly an idiot or something. <laughs> Maybe and you should I, stop and there. They said, you have to have an alternate title. So I said, okay, that's it, alternate yeah. title. Okay. okay. Super. Well, Mickey's song was by no means the only one to fall foul of the censors. Yes, Jazz Brandreth has been looking at the history of censorship, starting with those records deemed too dangerous for our ears. And that is where it ends. But Giles is here now. Oh, oh, no. I'm, I'm, I saw the thing before. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so appalled by almost everything. I have to watch television with the sound turned down. Yeah. Mostly I have to watch radio with the sound turned down. It's oh, all that's true. <laughs> Now, I think, in fact, in truth, I think we've got the balance right. In the right. past, some of the things we've been banned by the BBC are quite extraordinary. Okay. I have a little quiz for you boys okay. now. Are you ready for this one? No. I'm going to begin with you. Well, I'm not beginning with you then. I'm okay. going to begin with you, Daddy. <laughs> oh, okay. my goodness. Max the Knife, a great song. Yes. I should have been banned the once upon a time yeah. because of offensive lyrics. Here are the lyrics. See if you can see what words were banned. This oh, is the great Louis Armstrong sad. singing for us. Sunday, Sunday morning. morning. What's like that? Yeah. I, you know, Sonny, I, I, know I didn't know the know lyrics to Daydream it. Believer till I heard two okay. <laughs> <laughs> Peter thinks he knows the answer. Liza Body, who's in life? Liza Body, who's in life? Very good, Timmy. And it was banned because it was considered too bloodthirsty. Who oh. wants that on a Sunday morning? Bodies oozing oh, no. life. Wow. You know, it's not EastEnders. It's supposed to be a nice song. Okay, I'm going to give you. I know one. this one. Okay. I know this one. Okay, this yeah, is. I know this one. I know this Cole one. Cole Porter's song from 1930s. You can ask me. It was can... banned. Okay. Ella Fitzgerald singing for us now. If you want to buy my You can my sing along with Ella. Sing along with Ella. Follow me and climb the stairs. Love. Awesome. Awesome. Really? I knew I had. I know I had a whole note to hold. I suddenly realized it you didn't have enough to covering breath. all of Ella's repertoire. You know. I should, oh, you yeah. are. You're Ella's natural. You should have really done Why was it banned though? Uh, love it because you can't love buy love. You just. Exactly, because it was Can't like, buy me love. It was near the knuckle. One more, Mickey, this is one for you, okay? Uh, this is a Bob I know Dylan this song. One. I know this Band one. as God. recently as the 1960s. I'd known they were so easy. Follow you down. Yeah, Bob Dylan singing. Let me follow you we're looking down. for three words that I think some Why people will still find offensive. So if you don't like this sort of thing, well, turn away from the screen now. Down. Some people will still think this...
No. Any idea? It's because it's sacrilegious. I think people won't like this. I'll do anything in this God Almighty world if you'll just let me follow you down. God Almighty world. Yeah. 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 Yeah.